If you've already seen our last video on DJI Avanox versus Bosch Performance Line CX Gen 4, you know that this giant drone company kind of took the crown in terms of some numbers. Though Gen 4 came to the market quite a long time ago, it was a tough fight between the efficiency and performance of both these drive systems. DJI released their Avanox drive system at Eurobike 2024, and they've collaborated with only one brand so far. In every community, e-bike enthusiasts are talking about DJI's bold entry into the electric bike market. Riders are curious whether DJI can give a head-to-head -head fight to the existing dominator, Bosch. But who knew Bosch was preparing the best answer to DJI's innovation? They have just unveiled their groundbreaking Generation 5 2025 e-bike motor. It's kind of a refinement from the German motor manufacturer. Since its launch, it became everyone's talking point, and ours too. So now, let's not waste any more time and take you straight to the comparison between DJI's Avanox drive system and Bosch's all-new performance line CX Gen 5. Believe it or not, you're about to witness a tough match. As you can see, the Gen 5 looks quite similar to its previous version, but the upgrades it offers are more than just cosmetic. One of the big change is its design. Bosch has cleverly reduced the number of mounting points from four to just two, which not only makes the motor 100 grams lighter, also brings down the weight to about 2.8 kilograms. This improvement is particularly beneficial for bike manufacturers, as it gives them greater flexibility when designing frames. Additionally, having fewer mounting points simplifies the motor replacement process during servicing, so it's a win-win for both bike shops and riders. On the other hand, the DJI Avanox motor system shows their expertise in building compact, powerful electric motors. It also has a sleek look and integrates perfectly with the bike's frame. The Avanox motor weighs just 2.52 kilograms. You can say it's several hundred grams lighter than its competitor. Though it comes with a simple design, DJI never compromises on toughness. Their drones have proven it a long ago. Now, the most important thing, motor and power. We know this is the thing that matters the most. So if we talk about the Gen 5 motor, it maintains its core technical specifications and delivers a solid performance with 85 newton meter of torque. This motor has a peak power output of 600 watts, which is almost similar to its predecessor. But the setup provides riders with an impressive 340% assistance. While the external design of the motor looks similar to its the Gen 4, there are significant improvements under the hood. Notably, Bosch has adopted a two-bolt mounting system, similar to that of its lighter SX motor, which simplifies installation and enhances frame design flexibility for manufacturers. Additionally, Bosch has updated the gearbox design, which successfully removes the clacking noise that was present in previous models. And if you look into the DJI's Avanox motor, it comes with a powerful 120 newton meter mid-drive motor that provides a continuous torque of 105 newton meter. For an average weighing e-bike, the torque is good enough to give a boost. Having this level of torque ensures a consistent and powerful push, particularly when tackling steep hills or rough terrain. Additionally, the Avanox system features a peak power of 850 watts, so you're going to get some extra boost when you need it the most. However, as with all e-bike systems, the Avanox is regulated to a continuous output of 250 watts to comply with electric bike laws. So, in terms of motor and power generation, both the bike offers impressive capabilities, but they do so in different ways. Well, Bosch did something cool here with the new batteries. For their 2025 CX lineup, they've introduced two new batteries, the PowerTube 600 and PowerTube 800. The PowerTube 600 has a capacity of 600 watt hour, while the PowerTube 800 boasts the highest energy density in Bosch's lineup at 800 watt hour. The weight difference between the two is approximately 900 grams, with the PowerTube 600 weighing around three kilograms and the PowerTube 800 at about 3.9 kilograms. A unique feature of the new Bosch batteries are their identical length, with only the thickness differing. This design allows bike manufacturers to use either battery in the same frame without altering the overall design. This new battery lineup from Bosch is almost similar to the Avanox's drive system battery options. 
But the fact where Avanox's system differs is its impressive Jan fast charging technology. The 800 watt hour battery can be charged from 0 to 75% in just about 1.5 hours. And it also has a 600 watt hour battery option. However, Bosch takes the lead when it comes to total capacity, as the Performance Line CX system can support a battery setup of up to 1125 watt hour. The most commonly used batteries for Bosch are the PowerTube 625 and PowerTube 750, which provide capacities of 625 watt hour and 750 watt hour, respectively. So if we talk about the riding modes of both the drive system, there's nothing much changed. The modes you're gonna have with CX Gen 5 is almost similar to its previous version. It features four main support modes, Eco, Tour Plus, EMTB, and Turbo. Eco mode is designed to conserve battery power, while Tour Plus and EMTB modes provide dynamic assistance that adjusts based on the rider's input and the terrain. EMTB mode is for a bit aggressive and responsive riding. It also offers subtle assistance for gentle pedaling and stronger support for more intense efforts. A standout feature is the extended boost in EMTB mode, which offers longer override for added help when navigating obstacles and rough terrain. Turbo mode delivers maximum assistance of 340%, so you can easily tackle steep climbs. But turbo mode drains the battery pretty quickly. An impressive aspect of the Bosch system is the reduced noise level, which remains pleasantly quiet even at maximum support, ensuring a smooth ride. In contrast, the DJI Avanox system comes with five support modes, along with an option to ride without assistance. The primary modes include Eco, Trail, and Turbo, which can be customized through an app. A unique feature is the Boost mode. You can activate it by a button on the left remote. This mode will help you in steep climbs. When Boost mode is about to finish, the system beeps, allowing riders to reactivate it for another 30 seconds if needed. However, to prevent overheating, the system may pause boost mode if it gets too hot, although it's challenging to trigger this condition during normal use. Lastly, the auto mode intelligently adjusts assistance based on riding conditions, using a tilt sensor to detect the gear in use. Now let's see some smart extras that make our ride more fun and cozy. So the Bosch system has come up with its new Purion 400 display. This compact 1.6 inch color display connects to the motor system with a cable and fits seamlessly into the bike's cockpit. Depending on the bike's design, it can be mounted directly on the stem or attached securely to the side by a clamp. While the Purion 400 is compatible with the Bosch LED remote and system controller, it doesn't include navigation or the e-bike lock function. The system also features an optimized integrated walk assist, easily activated by holding the minus button. Bosch has fine-tuned the motor's software, allowing it to interpret signals from various sensors, including inertial, cadence, and speed sensors. Plus, riders can plan their routes using the e-bike flow app, which allows for customizations in all riding modes based on torque, dynamics, support strength, and speed. And if we talk about DJI, we know they never lag behind in terms of smart features. So you're going to have a 2-inch OLED touchscreen display integrated into the top tube of the bike. This display is particularly noteworthy for its ability to take a SIM card, enabling remote access and bike tracking. It comes equipped with a GPS sensor, gyro sensors and a barometer, along with connectivity options such as Ant Plus and Bluetooth 5.1. This technology allows riders to track their rides accurately and save valuable data. When it comes to the price and availability of both the bikes, we just can't share the numbers now. Because Bosch has announced the Gen 5 system recently, and it's for their 2025 lineup. However, Bosch has not disclosed any specific pricing details yet. Given the company's history of maintaining fair price points, we can say that the Gen 5 will come with a justified price tag that reflects its new features and improvements. And as we have told earlier in our last video, DJI Avanox system is relatively new and still not widely available in the market. Currently, it's primarily featured on the Amflow PL electric mountain bike, which limits the options for consumers looking to experience this innovative system. It also got no price tag yet. Well, the match is over. 
While everyone was talking about DJI and its superb entry into the e-bike market, Bosch continues its legendary lineup that it last launched almost two years ago. Built on its established reputation from Gen 4, the Performance Line CX Gen 5 promises good refinements in terms of design, power, and maintenance. Meanwhile, the DJI Avanox system truly stands out in terms of power and market standard features. However, this new Gen 5 system from Bosch is actually the best answer if you want to stick with Bosch instead of getting a DJI drive system. Thank you so much for watching. We have made this comparison to provide a quick overview of how these two drive systems differ. If you have any thoughts or verdicts, please share them in the comment section. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more exciting comparisons in your feed.